Hi everyone, welcome back to J Stories, where ideas and technology from Japan help solve global social and environmental problems. I'm your host Toshimaira, and here's a quick look at this week's J Stories. A new technique to preserve genetic material, protect diversity, and one day even revive extinct wildlife. The usual way to preserve cells and the genes they contain is to freeze them in liquid nitrogen at almost minus 200 degrees Celsius. But researchers from Yamanashi University have developed a way to freeze dry ordinary cells, then store them at the relatively warm minus 30. To show that the cells were healthy, the researchers then used them to clone a mouse nicknamed Dorami. According to the team, the technique might one day be used to clone extinct animals such as the Japanese wolf or Japanese otter. Earlier this year, Japanese high school students wrote 300 letters of support to Ukrainian refugee children, but bad luck left the letters stuck in Japan. Staff from Japanese NGO Earthwalkers were on their way to a refugee camp in Poland when they caught COVID and had to return home with the letters. To re-deliver them and take other supplies to the children, they need to raise about 10,000 US dollars. The NGO's director, Naoya Kodama, says that writing the letters helped bring the reality of the war in Ukraine home to the students. Letters from faraway Japan are sure to encourage the Ukrainian refugee children. Kodama hopes that they will spark friendship between children in Japan and Ukraine and could be a stepping stone toward future peace in the world. Early signs of dementia can be so subtle that they are often difficult to detect by family members, medical professionals, or even the individual who has the disease. But three students from a Japanese technical college have invented a wearable device that can lend a hand picking up early signs of dementia just from how a person walks. One early symptom of the disease is a stuffling or unsteady gait. And the device collects data from a pressure-sensitive insole and a smartphone attached to the wearer's hip. The Japanese government predicts that in the next few years, one in five people in Japan will go on to develop dementia. Currently, there is no cure for the disease, but when it's picked up early, it can be treated and slowed down. The developers of the shoe-mounted device hope it might detect or even predict such early-stage dementia. That's all for this week from JStories. Please visit our website at jstories.media for more details on these stories. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for more solutions and inspirations from Japan.